I wanted to cover a topic that I'm asked quite often um, when I'm consulting people on their own builds or even after a system is installed for them. Um, a, a few people have reached out first saying, how do I turn off my heating system in the winter? Um, there is no need to turn off your system as far as your heating portion if you're using a combi boiler or even just a, a normal boiler. Um, if you're using a combi boiler that also provides domestic hot water, you of course do not want to shut this boiler off at all because it is going to still need to provide your domestic hot water needs throughout the summertime. Um, if you have a heat only boiler, you can go ahead and shut down the entire boiler as you will basically not need it at all. Um, I always recommend at least every once in a while turning it on and you know maybe even kick the thermostats on uh, to run through a heat cycle just so it's not sitting stagnant. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that that's what goes wrong is just by not using it for long periods of time. So you want to exercise all of your equipment throughout the year, even if it doesn't necessarily need to be used. Um, and kind of with that being said, um, what triggers a system? Because some people say, oh, well, you know, how do I turn it off? You don't need to turn it off necessarily because your thermostat is what's going to be controlling your boiler, whether it's turning on or off. So all you need to do is not even turn off your thermostat. If you have, um, of course, if you have a thermostat that's, that's controlling your heating and cooling, um, you're obviously gonna be having it on just for your cooling needs in the summer. Um, but if it is a heat only thermostat, um, you're going to want to just turn the thermostat to a temperature that will keep the system from kicking on. So um, just keep it at a temperature that um, will be stable throughout the entire um, summertime or go ahead and pull the batteries out, pull the power off. Uh, maybe you have it on a switch. That's really not common, any of those. But So just to sum things up, um, if you do have a heat-only boiler where your boiler is only providing heat for your baseboards, radiators, air handlers, radiant heat, or what have you, but it is not providing your domestic hot water, you can go ahead and turn off the boiler. Different manufacturers are going to have different ways to do this. One may be just by holding in this power button here on this Navian. If you were to remove the cover, there's also a power switch inside, or you could just simply shut off the breaker to the unit. Um, or you may have actually a switched outlet that it's plugged into. So various ways to do it. Uh, like I said, heat only systems, yes, you can shut them down. And again, I always recommend at least once a month throughout the off season, turning it on, Turn up the thermostat, let it cycle through for at least, you know, 10, 15 minutes just to sort of exercise all the components inside. Let it get up to temperature. Um, and that's the most important part. Let it fully get up to temperature. It's just like the same thing if you're um, warming up your car. If you let a car just sit outside in a driveway for six, eight months, um, you know, the rotors are going to get rusted. The engine oil is going to fully settle all the way down. That's just sort of, uh, you know, some of it's common sense, but if you're not used to these things, you're not thinking about them every day like I am in this sort of trade, then yeah, you need to uh, take care, maintain everything just like that. Uh, so I hope this video helped some of those that have questions like that. If you have any additional questions, of course, reach out, comment, um, or email me. My contact information is always in the description of all my videos. Check out all the other videos I have of uh, this, this specific boiler being built and many, many other pre-built systems I do, um, as well as uh, consulting and design. So reach out if you have any questions. And uh, with that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.